Hey there marketing fans, welcome along to another episode from Adventures in Internet Marketing. Now in today's episode I actually want to go ahead and uh, move on from something I talked about yesterday which is this, it's the Plugin Performance Profiler and it was all about how to increase the speed of your site and in this case it was about analysing the plugins on your site to see which ones are causing a lag and uh, as a result which ones you can either get rid of or edit in some way in order to actually improve the speed of your site. I also talked a bit about why it's important and uh, one statistic that came up was uh, from a colleague of mine, Neil Asher, over at rawlocal.com and uh, he was talking about the fact that you know, Facebook recently announced that for every one second, uh, for every additional one second it takes for Facebook to load their site, they actually lose $50,000 a day. Okay, $50,000 a day just gone because their site took an additional one second to load. So this is absolutely incredible. And it made me think, well, I wonder what the impact is on smaller businesses. You know, you and me are, are not necessarily the next Mark Zuckerberg. So as a result, we may not be running businesses that are quite that big. But it will still have an impact. You know, even if it had an impact to the point that it made you an extra 25 or $50 a day, by increasing the speed of your site by a second or two, that would be a big, you know, big deal over the course of a, a year or two years. So again, go ahead and uh, and do this and apply this right now. Uh, if you haven't checked out the video, then go and check out the plugin performance profiler. Now, once you've done that. You also then want to go and check this out, and this is really what I want to talk about today. This is the W3 Total Cache, and what this enables you to do is to basically store uh, elements of your site in a way that makes them easier for the person who's browsing your website to access. Okay, That's the simplest way I can think of putting it. Now, I'm not massively technical, as I'm sure many of you know, so I don't really know the technology that goes on behind this, but I do know that the Total Cache is absolutely amazing because it's in increased the speed of my site by at least two seconds. Okay which is, it doesn't sound like much, but it's huge. If you're sitting there waiting for a page to load and it takes an extra two seconds, that could be the two seconds that it takes for you to go, oh God, do you know what, I can't be bothered, and just click off and go, you know, click the back button or go somewhere else. And of course, if you do that, then I lose you as somebody who's reading my blog, I lose the chance to interact with you, I lose the chance to get you on my mailing list, all of that stuff. And the same is true of you, you know, no matter what kind of blog or, or site you have. So anyway, go ahead and get yourself this. This is the total cache. Obviously, go and install it as a plugin as you would normally. Go to the plugins menu, click on Add New, and then you need to go and search for W3 space total space cache, okay, C-A-C-H-E. And the cache will, as I say, store elements of your site. Now, the settings I suggest you use for this is to go, first of all, into the general settings. And the first thing to go for is the browser caching, because browser caching is one of those things that will enable you to uh, to basically serve up your pages to your users a lot more quickly. And what that means is that a copy of your site or elements of your site get stored on somebody's browser. So if I go to your site, for example, a copy of some of the elements of your site will be stored in my browser, okay? And that's the cache. And that's perfectly normal. It doesn't cause me a problem, doesn't cause you a problem, but it does help you to serve up the pages is much much faster for me so I get a much better user experience and I'm much more likely to come back and use your site and browse through it again which of course is exactly what we want so anyway this is something which you need to go and do and you can do this by going to the as I say general settings and scrolling down and finding the browser cache just here okay so make sure you click on enable okay right here and what this will do is it will mean that you can basically reduce the time uh, and the load on the server so as a result of that your your page comes up quicker so make sure that's uh, checked there also a bit further up you want to go and make sure you also check the box that says page cache as well and this enables you to again store a copy of the page in a way that you can uh, access them much more quickly and just do these two things and you'll immediately notice a difference in the way your site kind of works uh, and I would leave it with the default settings if you want to go and kind of mess about with some of the other things then go ahead and do that by the way of course as always I can't be uh, held responsible for anything you do with this plugin because I don't know what other plugins you're running and I don't necessarily know how they will interact with those plugins if you've got something that you've developed yourself or if you have a, a plugin that doesn't particularly like the the total cash plugin then you know it could cause an issue Generally speaking, I've done it across three or four sites now and I've had no issue at all. But again, I can't be responsible for any of those things that uh, might happen with your site. But if anything does happen, then let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. Anyway, so 
the page cache and the browser caching those are the two things that are important now the effect that this has had on my site has been pretty major um, I've, I've gone in by the way and I've changed a few other options within the, the W3 total cache but I'd just suggest that you keep the default settings okay just make sure that you've checked the box here that says uh, page cache enable and also down here that says uh, browser cache enable as well you also want to go into the browser cache menu which is over there on the left hand side and just make sure that uh, it, it does actually say that it's enabled right here so where it says browser caching is currently enabled that should say that if it says disabled then you need to go and make sure that some of these options down here are checked as well uh, so I've checked the top three then I've missed one out and I've checked the next two as well uh, the, the most important one though you don't need really any of them other than this one here where it says enable HTTP compression okay that's the one that will help your site load really quickly so go ahead and, uh, and change those on your site if you need to but again like I say if you change any other settings I can't really be held responsible for what you do with those anyway now this is something which I've talked about before this is a thing called pingdom and this allows you to see how much more quickly your site is running so what I'd suggest you do before you actually start doing the whole w3 browser thing okay before you go into all of that uh, before you install the plugin even go to your uh, go to here go to pingdom uh, which is tools.pingdom.com and the first page is this it's the full page test and just go ahead and put this in and you know put the name of your site in here uh, the address of your site rather and then click on test now and this will immediately come back and tell you how quickly your site has loaded now my site at one point was loading like six seven maybe even eight seconds which doesn't sound like very long but count it to yourself once you finish watching this video and you'll see that actually eight seconds is like an eternity for a website to load a page like I don't I really understand why my bounce rate was as high as it was like it was up in the 80% okay before I started implementing some of these uh, these features and before I started really concentrating on increasing the speed of my site but like 80% bounce rate is ridiculous like it's so high so as a result I wanted to change it and make it much better now and you can see that it's gone down to now a load time of 2.3 seconds which is absolutely amazing you know uh, 2.3 seconds is just incredible and it allows me to obviously serve my pages uh, much more quickly which gives me a much better experience for my users etc etc so all really good and uh, it's also decreased the actual page size as well which has been brilliant and that's all as a result of that W3 total cache now one other tool you want to check out as well and again I'll put all the links to these under this video is this one this one right here is uh, from Google developers uh, developers.google.com and this will give you a page speed score according to Google many people don't even realize this is a factor but it is It's something that Google is checking out more and more and consequently this is something which you need to address really really quickly if you uh, have you know watched this video don't just go ahead and watch something else after this do this stuff now because it will immediately impact your site and how successful you are I can't put it any more bluntly or any more clearly than that go and do it now right here I've got an overall page speed score right now of 75 out of a hundred which is actually not bad you know it's it's a, a pretty good pass rate in most exams and uh, you know that's something which I want to go and do but I want to increase this to maybe 80% uh, so once it gets up to there I, I'll start to feel like I'm, I'm serving the site as well as I possibly can to my users so yeah go ahead and check this out as well uh, this is Google developers so developers.google.com uh, forward slash speed forward slash page speed and this will help you to increase the speed of your site just go ahead if you want to check uh, multiple sites as well you can click on edit up here and then change the address and click on analyze so again these are all things you can do now once you've done this down the left hand side you'll get a list of all the things that you need to do uh, as a matter of priority next in particular the high priority stuff needs to be addressed straight away sometimes there's also medium priority and low priority stuff I've actually gone through all of the medium priority ones that's why my page speed score went from 63 out of 100 to 75 um, I actually managed to get it to 77 just before I started recording this video um, and I did that because I kind of tweaked a few things on the site so I need to go back and find out how I can improve that but between this uh, tool right here and the Pingdom tool you'll see exactly why your site is loading as slowly as it is uh, Pingdom even shows you right here quite visually exactly which things on the site are loading you know, quicker or slower and I've talked about Pingdom before so if you want to go and uh, check that out then you know, make sure you do I think there's also a video on my YouTube channel about it as well so anyway go ahead and get W3 Total Cache and implement those changes that I showed you just go and use the default settings and make sure you enable browser caching and also enable 
uh, page caching as well. You don't need to worry about any of the other settings. Uh, don't touch the Minify setting because it generally has a, a tendency to mess with the site. So don't do any of those. Just go ahead and use browser caching and page caching and that will help you speed up your site really quickly. I'd love to know what your uh, before and after uh, measurements are as well. You know, when it comes to the speed at which your site loads, you know, if you go and check out your site on the Pingdom tool, for example, and it loads at five seconds and then you add the W3 total cache and it loads in, you know, three seconds, that's a massive improvement. So uh, again, let me know your results either below this video on YouTube or below it on my, uh, on my blog. So thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Make sure you do subscribe for all the latest in news uh, and uh, tips and tools from the world of online marketing. Uh, I've been James and as always I will be with you again very soon in the next video. Thanks ever so much indeed for watching and I'll speak to you soon.